In this video, we are going to share about controlling inventory in a restaurant's environment. We will discuss how to control and put in place and why they are necessary. This video will make you understand how frequent bar inventory should be checked, what is the method used to input information and choose report, and the correct access restrictions to put on the inventory control. So, let's get started. Proper food and beverages inventory control are critical for a successful business. In this video, we will learn about inventory control and its components of negotiating prices and taking control of inventory, as well as the benefit of accurate database management. The food and beverages industry is one of the largest industries in the world. There are many restaurants all over the world with all different menus. As a supervisor, you must make sure you are using inventory control to monitor your location's numerous manual items. Inventory control is done by checking the actual stock and comparing it to what is sold. When ordering inventory, the first step is to negotiate prices. Before ordering any food and beverages products, it is essential for you to negotiate the prices of the products you are to receive. Could you imagine if you just took the prices from every distributor without trying to bargain? Generally, the vendor will have prices that were good to you, but there is always room to negotiate so you can get a lower price. Don't just settle on the prices. Some prices may be harder to change than others, but most items will be able to be negotiated. The industry is competitive, and there are plenty of vendors out there. So you want to make sure you are getting a good deal before you place your order. The local restaurants does not negotiate prices. The manager just takes the vendor's word and is getting charged at the prices the vendor set. The bar and grill across the street has a similar menu, but it is able to charge lower prices and make more profits because its manager negotiates. The local restaurant is losing customers to its competition because its managers do not negotiate vendor prices. The next step is essential. Take control of the inventory that has been shipped. When running a bar, it is important for management to do inventory checks daily to see how much the bar has sold compared to the amount of alcohol that is gone. Doing this helps prevent bartender from pouring drinks that is too strong or giving a free drinks away without consent from management. This daily bar check also helps avoid running out of certain type of alcohol. The food and preparation portion of the restaurants helps determine what the company is using and how much inventory is left. As a restaurant manager, you don't want to run out of chicken or steak. Portion control of food should be established so management can accurately tell how much has actually been sold and what the restaurant has left. How would it look if you own a steakhouse and ran out of steak? It would look bad for the restaurant, which is why it is also essential to use database management. A database management system is the easier method to use to input information and produce essential reports for the inventory control. A database management system allows the company to keep track of all reports, including sales and inventory. This is an easier way to get accurate information and get reports generated. The food and beverages manager can determine what information they need and customize the system to suit their needs. It's essential to make sure all inventory is put in the system, so the company has the most accurate information. Although database management keep track of inventory, management must still check beverages and food quantity regularly to compare the actual count to the count in the computer system. The only people that should be entering inventory into the system are managers. The more people are inputting information, the more likely problem will be there. All shipments 
should come with a packing slip or invoice. It is essential for managers to keep all the invoices, which are used to pay the vendor and to make sure the right quantity has been shipped. If the packing slips say they are 100 sticks, but the locations only receive 50 sticks, the inventory will be a mess if someone has not compared the amount received to the amount on the packing slip when the item arrives. The local restaurant's manager have so much trust in their vendor that they receive shipments but do not match up the amount on the invoice to the amount they get. The manager noticed that they are missing a lot of items but just assume it is because of the theft. It is difficult for them to know because they did not get accurate numbers. So, even if an employee is giving away food or alcohol, their kind determine the root cause. So, what is the lesson summary here today? Food and beverages inventory control compare the actual stock to what is sold. It is essential to negotiate prices and make deal with vendor to get the best possible prices and stay competitive. Taking control of the inventory details, doing regular check on food and beverages, making sure there is portion control, and inputting information into a database management system. Using a database properly will help the restaurant generate report and help to determine the root cause where it happened and what is happened. That's all for my sharing in today's video. Once again, my name is Vivian. I am the business software coach. I am not only teaching theory, I also build software to meet the real business operations. Please subscribe to my channels and hit the notifications bell. Every week, I will record a weekly video like this to share with you guys. And I see you in my next video.